Mr. Richardson has said uh, in his letter to the Electoral Commission, uh, Mr. Richardson is the fellow from uh, Adam Richardson from the Reform UK. He's a secretary. He's the Reform Secretary and a barrister, and he's also made a formal complaint to Essex Police, police on behalf of Mr. Farage, and he has. Um, he has said it is wholly unbelievable that by complete coincidence Channel 4 were performing an undercover investigation and by chance were paired up to go canvassing with a man who was pretending to be someone else using a false voice and saying almost exclusively racist and bigoted remarks. It is almost unbelievable, is it not? But it would equally be almost unbelievable that Catherine Blakelock, who founded the party, who founded Reform UK, uh, was um, uh, w w was equally guilty of racist stereotyping um, when she said that black people were inherently violent due to excess testosterone. She had to leave Reform UK in 2019 after Islamophobic tweets were discovered though she later described these as out of character. So, absolutely, that also is entirely, wholly unbelievable, isn't it, that somebody should be speaking out of character and uh, that when, when, when she's presented with these tweets, she says, yes, they are unacceptable, that doesn't seem like me. Yes, indeed, it's like somebody else pretending to be somebody else. And uh, Lee Anderson... Lee Anderson, maybe was Lee Anderson pretending to be somebody else when he said, when he accused Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London, of being controlled by Islamists? Uh, all these people seem to be, as Mr. Richardson points out, uh, pretending to be somebody else. It's so interesting to try and work out who is the real. Who is the real uh, Lee Anderson? Is that the Conservative? Is that the Labour man? Is that the Reform UK man? Who is the real Catherine Blakelock? Is that the person who founded Reform UK? Or is that the person who was thrown out of Reform UK? Will the real person please stand up? Because I don't know.